I'm Stéphane Leduc, I'm editor-in-chief of Dress to Kill magazine. I started in media in an interesting way, which is the path also that many takes, meaning uh, going to university in communications. And then I came to this school, which is called ProMedia. It's really a school to be a host on TV or radio, because that's really what I felt I could do and I would love to do. And when I finished here, I was lucky enough, a few months after that, that Music Plus, the French version of Much Music, was just starting and they needed reporter. They asked me to develop a half an hour show, which became Perfecto, which was the first fashion TV show in Quebec. And that's really how I started being interested in that industry. And I learned a lot, of course, through the years. And uh, it became a passion. It was three young people younger than me that really had an idea of creating a magazine. One was a photographer, the other one was a graphic artist, and the third one was a stylist. But they needed a journalist, somebody who knew how to, to bring all those ideas together. So they asked me, and I was really glad because it was really a new challenge for me. When uh, you can put your own ideas, it goes further. And that's one of the things I wanted to develop with Dress to Kill, and the whole team was like that. Dress to Kill magazine is really about um, pushing the boundaries, I would say, a little bit. Be creative, be audacious, and try not to follow the other ones. The spirit of the magazine tends to go about really the people that are creative. Sometimes the part of the team say, Estefan, we have to talk about something else than the people. But I think it starts there. That's the first thing that... Uh, when a label was created, there was a man or a woman behind it. And that's the way the ideas have been developed. The way I see working at a school like Promedia and at a magazine, what is great is that I can bring all the experience I have in the media to the students. You always need to progress in your life and in your work as well, not staying at the same level. So being in a school like that is a good challenge. We consider fashion a bit uh, not intellectual, not really interesting and just about very superficial people and about money and marketing, but there's more to it. I would say my motto is, uh, there's a, a phrase from Goethe, the German poet, that is to make a better future with the magnified elements from the past. So that's a phrase that I like because you must never forget where you come from, but also the origin of something. That's why I, try, I love that phrase and I try to apply it also to what I do.